Hey, good morning to you. Happy Friday. Made it to another end of the week. Well, technically this is the morning, so if you watch this tonight, hell, you made it through another week there. <clears throat> Hope you're doing well. Hope it's been a good week for you. You got some benefits out of it. You're able to make those baby steps to start getting you a little closer to your health, wellness, and fitness goals. This is David here with you, where I share what I call balancing the triad, where you work on your body, mind, spirit to improve your health, wellness, and fitness. So I had one topic I was going to do today, but I'm going to change, continue up from yesterday. Yes, I tell you, do you have a training routine? So, right now, don't have a training routine. At least get active. So, having a regular training routine is going to be the best bang for your buck. And people will argue, I don't have time for that. I would debate you on that, and I'd basically win, because you don't need as much time as you think, and you're probably going to be able to figure it out. But it depends on whether you actually want to make a change. However, let's not go there right now. We're just going to talk about a different reference point, and the reference point being, just get more active. A lot of these you already know. <coughs> if you got a choice between elevators and stairs, take the stairs. <coughs> um, park your car farther away so you walk a little more. What we're talking about here is get more active. Is just getting more activity throughout your day. Instead of just sitting, most of us sit for a good chunk of the time. Especially if you have a desk job. How many hours are you sitting there at your desk doing something? Versus if you have a manual labor job, at least you're out moving around for the most part. But even then, you still want to get more active. Get more active doing things which you can which you can do, and these are things I've talked in videos in here before. But again, so let's go back here. Yeah, going through to take stairs versus the elevator, park your car farther away. This can either be from work. Matter of fact, I have a uh, joke, a little comic I haven't shared up yet. It's in the archives there. Hold up, and I'm talking about yeah, we got a great work program. The parking lot for the job is two. The parking lot for the business is two miles away, so people got to walk back and forth, and therefore they get health benefits from it. Um, a couple things I have even done if, if I'm doing something like preparing lunch, I'm heating something up. For right now, the office and the kitchen are opposite ends of the house, so a lot of times I might heat something up in the kitchen, get it ready. I might come back to the office, check on something, go back out there, do something again, and come back and forth. That way, there I get I do that on purpose because I'm actually walking back and forth. If I'm getting coffee, I might sit there, start the coffee, come in and do something else, then walk back and do it again. I mean, back and forth, just simply to get more activity throughout the day. Um, one of the ones mentioned, which I haven't quite got around to doing yet was if you go into rooms in your house you carry a weight you get a weight you just carry that with you from maybe you're doing a farmer walk you carry with that back and forth um maybe as you're doing maybe during commercials if you watch television i don't watch television um maybe during commercials you get up and do a couple laps around the house or get up and do some push-ups do some squats and back on that, there's one part we've called, we've talked about this before, called Grease in the Groove, where we practice the technique throughout the day. And you can incorporate this in a variety of ways. One is we say, even if you're at work, every time you go to use the restroom, maybe do a couple of squats, either out of your desk or before you come out of the bathroom, um, do some push-ups against the wall or the counter. As long as the counter can, uh, can support you, do it from there. And these are just simple ways to go through and get more active, because what we want to do now, nutrition plays a factor in this, which we'll probably talk a little bit more about next week. But when you least you're more active, you're burning more calories by doing that. More calories, you create a calorie deficit. So nutrition plays a big factor in that. But calorie deficit, you're going to start losing some weight and probably lose, lose some inches as well. But you got to be more active. And it's got to be a conscious decision. You have to choose to say, okay, I'm going to get more active. Now, I got to the point now where I'm going back and forth. It's like a lot of times... I would say, yeah, I'm going to go walk. I could just stand there in the kitchen and let do something happen. I could just stand there and wait. But I choose to go through and walk to a different room to just do something small. Even it might not be anything, but I, I choose to go through and that way there and get some walking and back and forth throughout the day. It'd be interesting. I should get, <clears throat> be interesting to get a pedometer or something to actually figure out how many steps do I do throughout the day, but <clears throat> I haven't got that yet. Overall, if you don't have a fitness routine, it's best your best bang for do one. We could sit there and talk about that. This is something a little more individual. Because I've given you plenty of ideas throughout here, all the different videos I've done. But it'd be better off having a one-on-one -on -one talk to figure out what's going to work for you. But regardless, <coughs> get more active. Walking, push-ups, squats throughout the day, just something like that. Get more active, all right? And weekend, I know we had um, more normal cooler temperatures here in Northern California. Yesterday morning, it was 27 degrees. This morning, it was 29. So definitely more cooler temps compared to high 70s we had about a week and a half ago but if you got something going on this week and get a chance to get outside get some fresh air bundle up and get some activity in you 
not to mention the fresh air will do you good. And that's part of body, mind, spirit. Spirit is being out in your environment. All right. Let me know your thoughts on that, about how you got going, how you do your training. And if you want some help on that and get you, get you in the right, going in the right direction, there is a link in the description for my Facebook group where I got some free training there. So enjoy your weekend. Have a wonderful time. And we will catch you Monday. Take care and balance into you. Bye-bye.